so we have a we have a little request here from my leg guy 247 in the desert there are tons of croissant shaped rocks can you do a base build with it like the rocky base build oh yeah so i know i think i know which one you're talking about here these croissant shaped rocks yes there are tons of them in the desert there's two right here and they're gonna be like mini caves sort of like the old arch rock but worse um so we're gonna find one we're gonna go inside the center here don't go all the way back because it's gonna mess you up you need to put a two by one down with raised foundations and be able to fit five triangles just like this this is the prerequisite for the base um, you can you can build stuff off in the back or something if you want or farther out to the side but you do just need a two by one with the five triangles and you can go ahead and upgrade these um, this is excess you don't really need that and oh, can i gonna get some here Oh nice, I could put a workbench or something there. And we're gonna upgrade our two by one. And just to claim it here. And just like that, we have claimed it. Okay, now for the upgrade. You know, we wanna go off the center square here. Remember this? This may not be available to you. You just want the two by one and the five squares. You go off the center triangle and go out eight squares, come back four half moons, a standard wall stack. One, two, three. Three half moon, my lookout radius is horrible for some reason on this server today. Makes complete sense. One, two, three. Four, come back with a square and now you have a standard wall stack and I have to go touch I have to go lick every piece of twig apparently to break it okay now you want to break one of these and you're gonna go off half moon to the right or left like so and you're gonna come back with a two squares and a triangle that way we have a triangle entrance to our bunker here and then you can upgrade these two and you can put two honeycomb triangles on either side so we cover that armor foundation and these are going to be you could use these as jump ups here or something but usually i honeycomb them so i have complete honeycomb on my two by one core and then with this we're going to make it an armored wall here for our bunker upgrade everything accordingly And now, if you notice, um, we have no HQM. There's no HQM in the TC there, so the wall foundation is not attached. Um, and shout out to Crow Rust for this. Yeah, you showed me this a while back. Okay, so that's when a triangle roof is on a triangle foundation of a normal wall stack, and it's intercepting a flat triangle piece or a square with this pattern, like with just a one triangle pattern, it connects the two building blocks. As you see right now, we'll have HQM and wood. And I don't know why it works like that. It doesn't work on like a triangle piece to a pointy side of a triangle or a square on a square. Um, doesn't work at all with square roofs, just triangle roof. So we're gonna put those there. And then we're gonna build out and around, hopefully, if you can't make that raise, it's fine. Build out and around, upgrade that one, break all these. And now we have our jump up here to get on our roof. And let's see, I can do this while it's in there. Nope, I guess you gotta do, leave the roof twig, I guess, or, or wood so you can molly it out. Put that floor there. Make a little jump up on each side. Wall this off. Put your floors off of your original foundations, not the wall stack. Open the bunker, seal it with that floor. Bring it around town. And now you have a bunker. An exit with two exits actually, so you could peek on one. And 
do it like that, I guess. We could have a turret or something as well. And maybe do a floor frame so no one could seal this off if they actually do raid you. And just like that, we have a 2x1 croissant bunker. It's all on one TC, well stacked. And uh, we do high foundations, so we can go like this and drop under, open it. Um, hopefully, you have something down here. Hopefully. To jump up back. And then, uh, yeah. Just like that. Get inside your bunker. Drop down. Um, oh. Don't do that. Facing the other way. Make sure it's facing towards you. Drop down. Up up there. Open the bunker. Demolish. And you can keep shotgun traps on either side just so it automatically breaks the twig if there's someone trying to not off get in there. And then you don't really need any jump ups or anything because the rock is a nice jump up so you can just continuously expand. And then uh, you can do a shooting floor and everything like that. And we're just going to speed up uh, some random shooting floor peak process here. something like that with a shooting floor you could continue off and build an external this way for priv blockage um, you could expand it however you want here with any shooting floor but the nice bunker core here is key just so uh just cost twig to open and close you could open and close it from the inside or the outside no seal cost um, just make sure that roof is pointed towards you crouch down here and get it on one side there and you have a nice bunker very nice and we can make these adobe so we do get that conditional corner there to block that gap and yeah super nice super easy adobe croissant rock bunker base with peaks um, you could do externals and wide gaps too but I like this. I like this normal wall gap space. I could pew pew enough out of those little gaps. Yeah, super nice, super easy, super croissant -y. And if you got any more uh, like requests of how to do this on build, especially the sulfur query. Where's the sulfur query? Oh, there's a secret sulfur query build that I want to show later. But yeah, if you have any requests, uh, just comment them down there and I'll do some more builds. Easy.